So with the, the team layout, you know, one of the big questions is the difference between, you know, the tribe team and then you have the Indians team. Mm -hmm. Okay, and everybody wants to know, well, what team am I going to be on? You know, I need to know this because this is going to make my decision, and that's fine. If, if what team you're going to be on is your be-all, end-all, you're in the wrong place. Okay, and the reason I say you're in the wrong place is because it shouldn't matter what team you're on. Okay, it shouldn't matter what position you play. I know you want to do certain things. I want to do certain things too. Okay, but sometimes it just isn't in the cards, or sometimes factors around you dictate otherwise. Okay, and you know I've had phone calls and emails. Well, you know, I need my son to play this position, and can you guarantee that? No. No, I can't. Okay, I, I need him to be on the tribe team. You know, is that 100% certain? Yeah, well, it's 100% certain, but if you want to be on that team and he's not playing, you've then forfeited your opportunity to say anything. Okay, and I really thought long and hard because I'm answering so many questions on this, on what the tribe program is. And I came up with some data, I came up with some numbers, and it started to make, some, it started to make good sense to me. Um, when we go out there and do the tryouts, you know, there's the four tests that we kind of use as our, our baseline. Okay, we ran the 60, we did that pro agility shuffle, we had them get their throwing velocity, you know, the same way. We didn't have pitchers throw one way and outfielders throw another and catchers throw their way. We had everybody doing it the same way so we can compare apples and apples. Okay, and then we got their ball exit speed or how fast the ball comes off their bat, how hard the ball comes off their bat. Okay, and the reason that we did that is because that tells us how much clay we have to work with. Okay. The bigger, the better the numbers, okay, the more we have to work with. There's a ton of kids out there that, you know, are pretty consistent, you know, great swing, good little ball player, all that stuff, okay, but the ceiling's kind of right here. And you want those kids, they're great kids, they're not going to lose the ball games, okay, but they're, they don't have that high ceiling that I think, or that I know represents what that tribe program is designed to do. And um, to give a better understanding of that, you know, I, I think that what we're looking for out of those players is if you fall into the, if you do all the baseball stuff, you know, the way that we're looking for, and then you fall into the top 25% in some of those categories. Okay, that's really what we're, you know, looking for. And to put data to that, okay, we'll use the 15s as an example. Okay, the top 25% of our 15-year-olds that have tried out ran about a 7360. Okay, the average of all players that tried out at 15U ran a 797. Okay, so you can see a pretty good gap there. Okay, the top 25% when they were throwing, you know, when we were radar gunning their throats, average or er, top 25% averaged 78.64. Okay, the average overall was 71.05. Ball exit speed, top 25%, 77 miles an hour. Average, 70 overall. And then on that pro agility run, the top 25% were 447, and the average overall is 481. Okay, and that trend kind of continues down throughout all the teams. And the reason that this is important is I'm not saying that in order to be a good baseball player, okay, you have to be this ultra gifted athlete. Okay, I was a good baseball player. Okay, I, I think I was. I worked really hard at it. I was a good baseball player. The reason I didn't get paid a lot of money to do it is because I didn't have some of those things. And I'm okay saying that. I had, I had my opportunities. I had my chances. Okay, but I didn't have that upside. I didn't have that ceiling. I didn't have that it, you know, that they were looking for. Okay, I got as far as my talents were taken. And I'm totally okay with it. Okay, so when, when we're going through and we're saying, this tribe team, we're, we're going with our best nine. Okay, our best nine to me means the guys that people are going to come and watch. Okay, and if you take that 25% number, again, let's say at the 15-year-old level, we take 30 kids. 25% of 30 is what, seven and a half? Okay, so we're saying that there's about seven and a half of these tribe type players. And looking at our 15-year-old team last year, I'd say that was pretty accurate. There are about seven and a half kids that I think were, you know, lockdown players. Now, oddly enough, there's eight positions on the field and a pitcher. 
Okay, so when we say the best nine, that's what we mean. We're looking for a guy in each of those spots who have the highest ceiling, who have the best tools. They may not be in your eyes the best or the most consistent ball player. Okay, but that's not what we're doing it for. Okay, we're, we're doing it to put those kids on a platform where they can be seen by the highest level. Okay, now that leaves the other 75%, right? Okay, and there's nothing wrong with being the other 75%. Okay, that's, you know, I, I broke it down again. I looked at kids who were starters on our, on the Indians teams, and they fell into that middle third. Okay, numbers-wise, they did two or three things in that middle third. Okay, plus we're good fundamentally sound baseball players, you know, had some baseball sense, all those other things, you know, that are important. Okay, but that's really, you know, when, when people are asking, well, what team am I going to be put on and why, that's what I'm looking at first and foremost. Okay, and every team that we're going to put on the field, I am certain, is going to be a competitive team this year. Okay, they're going to be competitive because they're going to be challenged the way they should be challenged. They're going to play against teams they should be playing. They're going to be put in tournaments where they can be competitive. Okay, I'm not going to take a team and throw them into an environment they shouldn't be in. Okay, it's just not going to happen. And, and that's what, um, you know, that's really what the difference is. A couple other notes that I put on here going back to my presentation. Um, you know, I put intangibles and makeup are kind of multipliers. You know, you see a lot of good kids, like, man, I just love that kid. He's a grinder. You know, he's got a lot of, he's got a good motor in him. He gets after it. Okay, but if he doesn't have those other things, you know, it's still not, it's still not going to be enough. Okay, on the other end, those guys that you're comparing neck and neck, you know, we want the guy that does. I, I think I told some of the kids at the tryout the other day, you know, you take those intangibles, it's like an honors class. You know, you get an A in a regular class, 4-0, and an Irish class of four or five. Well, that's, that's just what those intangibles are. They multiply whatever God gave you. Um, I put on here, I said, anyone can join the tribe team? Let me know. If you want to become the tribe team, great. If you don't play, you know, that's, that's your problem. Simply put, are we okay with that? I uh, put on your pride versus development, and I think that's part of it too. You know, everybody wants keeping up with the Joneses. Well, I didn't get selected to this tribe select team, so I'm not as good. And you know, what am I going to do? Listen, you're here because you want your son to be the best he can be. I'm here because I want your son to be the best he can be. Um, I don't think any of our coaches, I don't think any coach in general, for that matter, has ever woke up one morning and said, "You want to what? I'm going to put our worst lineup on the field." I'm going to do wrong by this kid, okay? It just doesn't happen. You know, we are on your team. I am on your team trying to help your kid. And if he's sitting on the bench on, on a team, he's not getting better. Okay, he needs an avenue to play, get at bats, get innings, get reps, all that stuff. 